guys, we are going through an absolutely insane dip right now in the cryptocurrency market. It's Bitcoin, it's Ethereum, it's the altcoins. They're all going down. What is going on? Why is this happening? In this video, I will tell you the truth behind this recent dip. But before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos like this. Some people may be thinking, Elon Musk, the devil incarnate, <laughs> is responsible for this dip. However, there's more to it than Elon Musk just backtracking on Bitcoin. There's more to it than that. So as we can see here on the Bitcoin six hour chart, we have gone from the peaks of 60,000 plus all the way down to 36.7K in a matter of days. How insane is this? As you can see, the selling volume of Bitcoin recently has been immense. When we look back and zoom out to the past, we have similar candles like this. In mid-April, we went from 60K all the way down to 50K. There's been times where things have gotten rough. In this six hour candle, we went from 54.7K all the way down to 47.8K. That's down about 10K in six hours. And I'm speaking about Bitcoin here, but I mean, the rest of the crypto market ain't looking too hot either. 25% for Ethereum now trading at 2.6K. I, I said that there would be a retracement and it looks like it's happening. But unfortunately, it looks like the other coins are going down with it. Pretty much everything is suffering and reaching lows we haven't seen in a while. However, some coins are standing up better than others. Solana here, uh, still above $40. You know, it's not doing too bad. Only down 10% in the last seven days. Doing a lot better than some of the other coins here. I've been speaking highly about Solana for a while. So it's pretty good to see that it's holding up in this horrible dip we're going through right now. So look at this, guys. Little Moon Lambo posting this information, leverage trading liquidations in the last 24 hours. And this, this is what I'm talking about right here. You see, we have 36,000 Bitcoins being liquidated, 400,000 Ethereum tokens being liquidated. And the rest of the market is also pretty intense with the liquidations. Now you'll notice that Ethereum has in proportion a lot more liquidation compared to the other tokens. And you may also observe that it's also down much more than Bitcoin right now, down about 26% in the last 24 hours and Bitcoin 15%. Both bad, but Ethereum is doing worse. And part of the reason, a big part of it, is due to the fact of these liquidations. You can see it here. There's about over $1 billion of Ethereum being liquidated and Bitcoin's around the same. Yet because of the market cap being smaller in proportion, you can see that Ethereum is suffering a lot more. It comes down to liquidation. You see people that open leverage positions, they'll actually be forced to sell everything they put into that trade. So if you leverage trade Ethereum at 10x, if Ethereum goes down by 10%, you have to sell all of your Ethereum in that instance. And this is really the reason why things go down so drastically in the crypto market. If it just goes down a bit, it kind of creates this cascade effect where the dominoes start with Ethereum going down by 10% and then that creates liquidations of leveraged positions in Ethereum and it goes down even further because people are forced to sell more and more of their tokens just to pay off the debt that they owe to these exchanges. And it really is quite a vicious circle because, you know, it's like when it rains, it pours in the crypto market. This is actually like a big reason why people don't like leverage trading because it creates so much instability in the market. What should be a small dip becomes a huge dip because of all of these liquidations that happen. So when you just look at the numbers of how much is being lost and how far the market has gone down, things seem a lot worse than they are. There is some people that are changing their mind and selling their positions, their longs on a certain coin, but it's also a lot of people are just being liquidated just because just because the price goes down a bit. And like I showed in the earlier part of this video, dips like these are kind of the norm in the crypto market. A small dip happens and then it snowballs into a much bigger dip. When there's blood, 
and fear in the streets, this is a good time to buy. If you've been waiting on the sidelines of the crypto market, if you've been waiting with your fiat money ready to buy some crypto, now might be a good time to buy. This is what billionaires do all the time. The richest people on earth are always doing this. They're always looking when people are hating a certain stock, when people are fed up, they're bored of something. That's when they buy, when people are freaking out, when the retail trader is freaking out, that's when they buy up something. It's something the richest people on earth do. This is how people make their billions. When the crowd is saying something, they do the opposite. I've lost a lot of money. Thankfully, I have a large position in Solana, which is kind of holding down the fort. But I'm like you guys, I've seen a big dip today, but I am not that worried. I do not think the bull run is over, like some people's FUD may suggest. Heart-wrenching dips before in the crypto market. This has happened and things have bounced back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.